video, I'm going to sort of introduce you to the second lab that we're going to start here next week. So this lab, lab two, is on x-ray diffraction, or XRD. And so if you go to that file, that folder in the files, uh, lab two XRD, uh, you'll see that I have a handout there for you. And so this will go over the basic lab for you. So I just wanted to kind of go over this lab because it's going to be framed a little bit different than some of our other labs. So in this case, as you can kind of see in the introduction and uh, uh, throughout here, um, we're kind of we're kind of making up a story uh, to go along with this lab. And so you are, you know, in this lab, you can consider yourself to be a materials engineer working for a company, and that company is Solent. Um, so we've kind of made up all this information. And so the idea here is that um, you're doing this uh, and you're part of this company and um, you're using x-ray diffraction to give information about the materials that that company uh, manufacturers. So we're doing this because the assignment uh, that goes along with this, if you sort of scroll down here uh, to the bottom, will be in an executive summary. And so this is going to be different than your typical uh, lab report. And to sort of better have a framework for this summary, um, it helps it to have this sort of backstory. So that's why we've kind of done it this way. So it's a little different. So take some time to, to read through this uh, document when you get a chance. And there's also a letter uh, sent from your hypothetical employee in this case. So make sure you kind of read all that. And it'll particularly come in handy when you are going to write that executive summary at the end. So I'll have more videos on that executive summary. But that just kind of gives you the framework of, of why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so I just want to run down what you're going to do for this first lab and particularly what you're going to do for the first week. So this project is set up uh, such that the first thing you're going to do is a training sample um, as part of working for this company. So this is just to kind of get you to um, go through the XRD process. So I'll give you a training sample uh, as the first part. And then there'll be two parts of the project. Uh, one, we'll be looking at uh, the same material, just produced in different ways. So you'll have a series of files that go to the same material, but it's been produced in different ways. And we want to use XRD to find out how. And then the last part is uh, a mixture. And so you're going to have uh, a sample that's been, um, that contains multiple phases, and you're going to determine what's in it and how much. So those will be kind of the two parts along with the training that are part of this um, project. So uh, let me kind of take you through the um, how, how you want to start this lab. All right, so if you go to the MSC 408 lab progress, so this is what I've been keeping um, updated for you as we go along, uh, you'll see that the uh, the lecture will go here, so you'll see a link uh, to that uh, when you go to it. Uh, and then the first two uh, parts are videos on YouTube that I've posted about how we prepare a specimen for x-ray diffraction. So go ahead and watch that video and take notes of the process. And then you'll also see a video on how we operate the x-ray diffraction the diffractometer and how we do it safely. So those are the two parts that you you know, will we'll be done remotely, so you won't be part of that. So you want to make sure you take notes as you go along uh, in that process. So after you've watched those two videos, what you're going to do next is you're going to do some peak fitting and peak analysis. So I've put a, uh, a playlist um, of, informa of information here. Oh, sorry. Um, the uh, all of these, uh, these first three go together. Uh, you're going to do some peak analysis uh, on your own. Uh, and this is going to be with a free software called FIDIC. Um, so after you've uh, watched how uh, to operate the machine and how to prepare a sample, you're going to watch this video um, and go through and follow these steps for peak analysis and FIDIC. It's a playlist of videos. And um, after you have, you know, after you've watched that, uh, you're going to take the first round of samples. They come in CPI files. Um, and this is going to be in the training folder. 
And so you're gonna open those. Uh, and if you go, I'll show you the tab here. If you open up that file folder, uh, one training, you'll see the CPI files for your group. And if we go back, you can kind of match up which what group you are has what sample. And so you're going to take those, and you'll do your uh, peak analysis using FIDIC uh, with those samples. So you can watch the video and then um, work on your training sample. And after that's done. Uh, we'll have a uh, video on how to do the manual cubic method. And so you'll run through this with your sample that's already had the peak analysis done. So you'll take your training sample, training one, two, three, or four. You'll do the peak analysis as it mentions in the, the videos. And then you will watch the video on how to do the manual cubic method. And this will be how you index or identify an unknown. So watch that video and then run through that procedure for the training um, procedure. So that's kind of the, the first part, the training part of this lab. So you'll want to run through all of those. Um, so you know, get a start on it and go through uh, that information. Do as much as possible because you'll also have some additional things over the next week or two uh, for the second part after training. So get as much done as you can. Uh, ask questions when they come up because you'll want to go through this process as quick as possible. So there's a lot of uh, parts here, but uh, use your training sample as you go along, and um, I think you'll find that it's probably e maybe easier than, than you expect. Um, so go through that as, as quick as you can. But that's the setup you'll want to do for this first week. So for, um, for this uh, lab, Again, uh, go through the uh, videos for the lecture if you need them, and then um, use the additional time you may have to go through these others, um, to go through the extra diffraction process for your training sample. Uh, when you're done with that, um, I'll put up more information about what to do next with the processes, and you can also take a look at your lab worksheet that will be posted onto the Google Share Drive as usual.